Really quick guys, this video is sponsored by Setapp. And if you want to get a ton of subscription-based apps or paid apps, over 100 of them in fact, then you can for only $10 a month through Setapp. Now, Setapp already has a ton of my personal favorite apps, but if you wanna go check them out for yourself, download Setapp via the link down below to check for yourself. Hey guys, it's Jeff, and today we are talking a little bit more about iOS 13. And if you are just as pumped as I am, make sure to give a thumbs up on the video and also comment down below what your thoughts are on iOS 13 and what you want to see in this next version of iOS. Anyways, today we are taking a look at a concept by Leo Ballet. If you want to take a look for yourself, I'll have a link down below in the uh, description and you can kind of see what what the concept is for yourself, but we'll be taking a look at his art and what concepts he thinks will be presented in iOS 13. So let's just get started. Okay, so first things first, uh, we'll take a look at multitasking and how that's going to be integrated into the control center here. So Leo is thinking that the uh, multitasking, the app switchers will come to the control center. And honestly, this is a very Google S design. If you take a look at the Google Pixel 3 and take a look at their kind of uh, control center and everything like that when swiping up from the home button uh, on the Pixel 3, you can see that we have a very similar design here. and I actually do like it. I like seeing all of the control center icons down below and then kind of like your multi uh, tasking app switcher on top. But again, I'd love to see a full size app switcher. So I'm not totally down with this concept. It looks cool, but I think I'd be down more for a full size app switcher. But also in the control center, he is presenting one of the things I have wanted to see for a very long time. And that is kind of more expansion on the connections menu, more specifically the Wi-Fi. So he is uh, presenting us here, like being able to change your Wi-Fi directly from the control center. And I think that is something that we absolutely need need to have in iOS 13. So if you think so as well, leave a like on the video or, or comment down below what you like about this concept in the control center. But personally, I really do like that expansion on the connections menu in the control center. Now, moving on, we'll take a look at uh, kind of like a more clean volume control UI. And I am actually really liking this. I think that having it near the buttons would be really cool just so, um, you know, it kind of lines up with the volume control button. So as you can see, Leo put all of the UI near the buttons accordingly for the iPad Pro and as well the iPhone XS here. So that looks really nice, really clean. I am really liking that UI. I can't really have any complaints with it. I just would really love to see a huge change to the volume control simply because I hate seeing that ugly volume UI uh, always in the middle of my screen. So next up, we're taking a look at dark mode and dark mode it has to be coming. Apple has kind of teased it in a lot of apps and a lot of the uh, UI that they presented within iOS are ready and we are definitely ready to see it. If you haven't already, check out the Stocks app. That gives a very good representation of what uh, the dark mode will look like if it does come in iOS 13. But back to Leo's concept here, uh, he is showing a very clean, a very sleek UI here with dark mode enabled. And it is showing that within the screen brightness adjustment within the control center um, that a dark mode will be toggled. Uh, through that, so that's really cool. I'm not sure that toggling it will be that easy simply because we have already seen that in macOS, the toggle just takes a few seconds, so I don't know if it'll be that seamless on iOS. We'll just have to wait and see what Apple has in store for us. But let's move on to the next concept here, and that is dealing with an external display and Xcode. So you know that Apple is always investing into their developers. They want developers to uh, basically have the best workflow possible. And uh, Leo is presenting a um, kind of like secondary external display access here. And I think that this will be um, this will be good. I think that having an external display, um, you know, for a iPad Pro would be really cool. I think that for me personally, having one for maybe Final Cut Pro, but actually having some controls and everything like that on the iPad would be really useful. I don't think that having the iPad as a display, uh, purely as a display is good, just because for Final Cut Pro, I would want to be using it as, um, you know, I want to be using my iMac Pro back here as my main display for color grading and everything like that. And then of course, maybe an iPad Pro for controls. So having an iPad Pro for simply having like Final Cut Pro controls, 
I think that would be really cool. And I think Leo did a really good job just thinking about this and kind of integrate it in, into his uh, concept here. So let's move on to uh, the next one here. And we are taking a look at uh, kind of like integration of a possible Magic Keyboard 3. And Leo is saying that we should be seeing an Apple W3 chip integrated into a possible Magic Keyboard 3. I personally don't like having to use the uh, Magic Keyboard that goes with the iMac on an iPad. I don't think it works. Uh, if you want to check out like a really good one, uh, I think Bridge just released one. Uh, Bridge makes Apple keyboards and I actually have one on order coming. Uh, I think that's a much better design rather than using the Apple keyboard, but that's my personal opinion. Having a W3 chip would be great, but I think having Touch ID uh, in that new keyboard keyboard would be absolutely essential to make it worth my while and using on an iPad Pro. But let's move on to uh, kind of the, this concept with Leo. He's, he's saying that Handoff will be available with Keynote. And I personally believe that this would be a great concept, but I'm not exactly sure what he means by this. Um, typically we have uh, Keynote like controls going through uh, the iPhone and then maybe present presentations going on the iPad or uh, the Mac here. I'm not really sure what he's talking about with Handoff and Keynote. I would love a lot of apps to become available through Handoff simply because we are starting to see a lot of applications go from uh, the Mac to iOS. So I'd love to see that cross-platform integration, um, especially with Handoff. So I'd love to see that. Hopefully he's meaning that we should be seeing uh, a lot more apps uh, coming with Handoff in the near future, simply because Apple has said that they want to bring a lot of iOS apps to the Mac and then make uh, kind of like integrating macOS apps in iOS a lot easier. So that would be really cool to see. Now let's move on here and talk a little bit more about Find My iPhone in iOS 13. And Find My iPhone has been an absolutely amazing tool within iOS. I have absolutely loved it. Unfortunately, I just had to use it this past year as my iPhone was stolen and I think it worked well. Uh, none of the uh, information that I had on the device was able to be accessed. My phone is completely unusable and while I it wasn't found, uh, it still kind of gives you that access to basically shut down your iPhone so that people cannot use it again. But what Leo is saying here is that um, when your iPhone detects unusual behavior, uh, find my iPhone will go into loss mode automatically and you will not be able to turn off the device and uh, basically uh, removing the SIM card will not change anything. Now, I'm a true believer of having electronic SIMs, so hopefully in the future, electronic SIMs will be the thing, and uh, you can just access uh, the, the phone plan through like an app or anything like that, uh, just so that people can't remove a pin or, or remove a SIM with a lock pin, whatever it may be, uh, they can't remove your SIM card and use the device. Uh, they have to uh, basically hack the electronic SIM, which is really impossible. So that would be really cool to see one, an electronic SIM, and then two, this kind of new Find My iPhone concept uh, that would basically disallow people from ever uh, stealing your device and keeping it off. So that would be really cool to see. If you like this concept, if you like this concept of Find My iPhone, let me know in the comment section down below. I think I have a lot to say on uh, some improvements that need to be made with Find My iPhone. So. Let's discuss it down below. Anyways, we have to move on here. Uh, let's check out the kind of device list that Leo is presenting here. Uh, we are seeing everything from the iPhone XS Max down to the iPhone SE. I personally believe that uh, the, the kind of uh, iOS range that we're seeing with iOS 13, since we're seeing a pretty major update here, I think we'll be seeing at the lowest the iPhone 6S and 6S Plus all the way up to the iPhone XS, XS Max, and then of course the new iPhone 11. And for the iPad, he has it at the newest 12.9 inch iPad Pro uh, all the way down to the iPad Mini 3. And I personally think that we'll just be seeing it uh, for the new iPad uh, sixth generation and higher. I think that a lot of things are coming to iOS 13, a lot of exciting things, but I do think it's going to take a lot of processing power and just having older devices on iOS 13 wouldn't make sense for battery life one and then performance as well. I think a lot of changes will have to be made for performance specifically with iOS 13 even for 
older older devices that were made to run like iOS 11 and iOS 12, I think that some changes are going to be needed. Uh, so yeah, guys, what do you want to see in iOS 13? Let me know in the comment section down below. Do you think uh, these kind of numbers are accurate with the device models and their support uh, or Apple support of iOS 13? Do you like them? Do you not like them? Uh, is your device going to be supported? Let me know in the comment section down below. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching this video talking about iOS 13. If you want to stay up to date with all of the news of iOS 13, make sure to get subscribed and also hit the bell button to get updates as soon as we release our content. Anyways, again, thank you all for watching and hopefully we'll catch you in some upcoming content. Peace.